Hey everyone and welcome back to another video. This is your buddy Crypto Profit and today we are going to be looking at the engine coin price. So this price is continuing to drop in the last 24 hours, a small 4.35% decrease. However, the market caps at 2.1 billion. The volume in the last 24 hours is sitting at 416 0.3 million and we have this circulating supply at 834.3 million engine so we have room for growth there is room there uh you know available to us and you're going to see a lot of potential in engine if you go to the channel and you go to the community tab you can always take a look at the pool we did have a pool um and there was a lot of information recorded here so basically i asked everyone would you rather have a portfolio filled with Theta, Cardano, Engine, Decentraland, and StormX. Looks about 12% of you picked Engine. Um, that is obviously ongoing as there's only 1.3K votes right now. And a lot of you guys are going to be waking up here soon. And uh, so a lot more votes are going to be you know, tallied up and being entered here within the next few hours, I'm sure. Uh, but the Engine price itself is at that 2.48 if we go to the last week alone we see about a 20 percent increase in engine i think engine is going to be a very long-term token i think this is one we talked out about we've talked about multiple times for multiple reasons because it's got a long-term future it's got a long-term potential and uh, i think it's going to be here for the long haul so 309 percent increase in the last month and then that 3,215 percent increase in the last year alone. Let's let's go over to the website before we do our price prediction for March, April, and the end of 2021. Let's take a look at what we got and uh, why is it so special. So the next gen NFTs for everyone, the products that make it easy for individuals, businesses, and brands to use non fungible tokens of the future. So you can get started. You can learn more about it. Uh, but they also have powered by engine. They have a couple games they have worked on. And they've released as well. So Age of Rust, Azure Heroes, Beauty in the Streets, The Six Dragons, Lost Relics, Pluriform, Alterverse. And uh, that's going to be the main games they're currently working on in, in the stages of release on some of them. Um, the Affinity, a multi-chain highway for NFTs. So NFTs 2.0 is what they're calling it. NFTs are huge right now. So Affinity is a decentralized blockchain purpose built to redefine what nfts are and what they can do this could be very very big for engine engine could be the first ones to really um you know bring out the full potential of nfts and that would be absolutely massive for anybody holding the engine coin why engine though we're changing the fundamental nature of virtual economies so obviously you can learn how and learn more about the coin and i suggest doing that if you're going to invest uh, trusted by millions, they say. So millions of people use Engine's products to manage, create, and trade fungible and non-fungible tokens. So they have 1.8 million plus wallets installed, 2.1 billion created assets, and 43.8 million marketplace volume in the Engine. So from our blog. So you can always go here and check out what they have. Obviously, there is a new uh, article. So let's check that article out. It just was released today. Um, and let's see what it's, like, like I said, all about. So the plan decarbonize newly minted tokens. So we will launch JumpNet, a proof of authority blockchain that runs on four nodes that consume 30, <laughs> wow, quite a bit of watts per year actually. And this will allow engine ecosystem creators to mint NFTs on a network that consumes quite a little amount of electricity of Ethereum blockchain. I, 0 .0002 of electricity. So if you actually look at more through this, I'm not going to read it all because you can just read the title and really understand what they're going to do. And then you can read the description if you want more details on it uh, at a later date. Obviously, it's a little bit longer than we're willing to uh, look at right now, but a plan to enable carbon neutral NFTs by 2040. So that is a uh, pretty cool thing that Engine just released, um, which could be big news for the coin as well. A lot of people obviously will appreciate their effort there. And uh, I think Engine, like I said, it's the way of the future. I think they, the fact that they work on games, they work on NFTs, uh, both booming industries. I think Engine itself is a booming industry. I think the coin uh, cryptocurrencies are booming as well. So that if you get a little trio of cryptocurrency, gaming, and NFTs, and obviously, obviously there's a little bit more to it as well. And you can always go to the about and you can hit the uh, why Engine or about us. Uh, I always like to see if there's FAQs. I don't believe there is any FK, FAQs for Engine. Uh, but you can see who they are, what we do, and uh, learn a lot more about them as well as, you know, there's obviously some pictures there. Um, but like I said, there's a lot to learn here on the Engine website, so definitely give it a check. And if you like everything you heard, uh, 
you know, put it on your watch list on either uh, Coinbase or whatever whatever app you use. Put it on your watch list and just follow it. See if it's something maybe later date you want to jump into, or if there's a huge dip and you're thinking it's undervalued, you can hop in at a good amount. So right now we did see that decrease. Let's give it a refresh right now to see if we can get the latest price. It's at that two dollars and forty seven cents currently. Um, obviously the markets are going to be a little behind at all times on Coinbase, just a tad, uh, not too much. But we use the Coinbase price chart because it is the easiest to follow, the easiest to understand. We have a lot of new beginners coming into crypto and we want to treat them right. We want to give them the best information possible, but we also don't want to go overboard with candles and all the details you can add to price charts. Uh, we want to keep it reasonable and uh, there's no reason to do all that to them right now. Uh, maybe in the future we will you know, advance our graphs, but for right now in the time being, we are going to continue to use beginner graphs for those crypto learners. So uh, anybody new to crypto, you are jumping into a, I mean, a very solid space. I think crypto is only going to be going up for the next couple months at the very least, uh, and probably many, many years to come. So like I said, I will never give you financial advice. Always do your own research. However, I want to give you guys my price prediction for engine coin by the end of March, April in 2021. So here we go. So if we look at the week span we're going to see a very very small dip here uh, and this is the last 24 hours and that's why we've had a decrease we did have an 18.84 percent increase overall though in the last week however right here we're seeing a stabilization around that 250 mark a little bit below obviously but uh, i think if we could see engine stabilize above 275 or 280 i think that is definitely a possibility by the end of march and i think it definitely actually has a very good chance of uh, getting there if you see it saw an all-time high of three dollars and five cents um, and it could be much higher than that by the end of this or even next month. I think the potential is there. I don't know if it'll actually reach there this March. I think it'll actually take until April to make its big performance. I think that by the end of March, I, like I said, I see a 275 to $3 range engine coin and then a stabilization, hopefully above 275 or 280. And that'll really put us in a good spot for April. I think April is going to be our big month. I think engine coin is going to at least get to that four. Uh, $4, $4 area, $4 range. I'm not sure it's going to hit the $4. Just like I said, around that $4 range. And I think a stabilization, uh, if we can see a stabilization around that 375 plus, we should all be very happy with that. Um, and it does have potential, like I always said, for much, much more. It's going to be depending a lot on the circulating supply market cap. And then uh, obviously volume does help um, increase the odds of us really getting a bigger push with uh you know, increases and uh, obviously dips as well. So engine does have a very, very bright short term. Do they have a bright long term though? Yes, they have a huge bright long term. Obviously we've seen NFTs continue to rise and uh, we also see gaming industries continue to rise up. I think that there's no, there's no stopping engine right now. They're, they have everything they want to do. They're already planning for 2040. We saw in the article, I think they are ahead of the times a little bit. And I think engine's going to take advantage of that. And I think by the end of the year, we could easily see a $5 engine at the very least. Obviously it's going to depend, like I said, a lot on the market cap and circulating supply. Um, if it allows, we are going to see engine continue to grow past that $5 mark and see much, much more. Um, but there's going to be a lot of details behind that. I think we can just stick stay tuned to you know engines projects and updates that they have been rolling out and really take a notice on uh with if we really believe it'll continue to rise obviously at that level it's been so let me know if you guys kind of agree or disagree with my price prediction in, in the comments below we do these videos unedited so you can get the most transparent and the fastest price um you know to you as fast as possible and the information obviously uh you know it's always going to be as fast as possible is best. So we will try to get these videos out as quickly as possible. That's why we do unedited and uh, obviously transparency is important to most people as well. So thank you guys for tuning into today's video. I uh, do want to say that we will be doing a stream, uh, our second stream uh, this Sunday. So make sure to stay tuned. I think it's going to be around two o'clock probably in the afternoon. So stay tuned for that. And uh, I hope to see you guys all there. Let me know in the comments if you have any other coins you want me to take a look at as well. I try to get to them all. Obviously, I want to look at uh, you know older coins as well that we've already taken a look at and give price uh, updates as well. So there's a lot of coins to look at, and obviously, I won't get to everybody's. I'm sorry if I'm, if I'm missing yours. I will try to get to them all. Uh, but hit that like button and subscribe and hit that notification bell if you really want to get notified every time I make a new video so that you can actually get this information before Jim Joe Bob the third finds it in a suggested video feed and actually beats you to the punch. Uh, you know, getting this information sometimes can be 
vital to uh, you know making the right decisions. Remember, I'm not a financial advisor. I will never give financial advice. So always do your own research before buying any coin at any amount. So thanks again, guys, for tuning in, and I'll see you in the next one.